Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can build a great gaming PC on a student budget. Even with a student loan, overdraft and part-time job, we know that a student budget is usually stretched quite thin. However, this doesn't mean we can't help you grab some bargains and build a great PC. In this video, we'll highlight our recommendations for each component, factoring in the price and performance. So let's get right into it. Starting with the CPU, you'll probably want your system for both gaming and academic purposes. So the CPU is a fairly important component. A well-rounded multi-threaded processor is the best way to go here. So the CPU that we recommend is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. It's a superb processor and gives you a lot of bang for your buck. It's a six core 12 thread processor, second generation AMD CPU, and it's still renowned for its excellent performance and value. The price of this CPU has dropped pretty dramatically since the release of AMD's third generation, so it's a great time to go and get one. Now up next is the component you'll be sinking most of your cash into, and that is the GPU. GPUs are usually about 40 to 50% of the cost of a PC build, so it's a really important piece of kit. What card you go for ultimately comes down for what games you play. And now the GPU that we're going to recommend is the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This may seem pricey, but it'll allow you to play most games in 1080p without tweaking your settings too much and allow you to play your favorite esports titles at a 144Hz refresh rate. And all in all, a great card for this price. Up next is the motherboard, and this is where you can usually save quite a lot of money as many of the premium features we see with higher end boards aren't really needed by the majority of gamers. It is worth noting that there can be several compromises to a cheaper motherboard, such as capped RAM speed, limited expansion slots, and lower spec VRMs. With that in mind, the board that we do suggest is the MSI B450 Gaming Plus Max. Now, if you prefer a wireless connection over wired, then you can pay a few extra bucks by going for a motherboard with Wi-Fi. This board will support the Ryzen 5 2600, and if you plan on upgrading in the future, it also supports the Ryzen 3000 series. The board can support up to 64 gigs of RAM and allow you to clock up to 3466 megahertz with the Ryzen 5 2600, and if you upgrade in the future, 4100 megahertz with the Gen 3. So all in all, a really great value for money. Up next is the all important RAM. Buying a sufficient amount of RAM is a very cheap way of giving your PC that extra little boost to gaming and browsing. We're talking about saving money here, so we're going to skip on the RGB in this specific build. With that in mind, the RAM that we are going to suggest is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB 3600MHz kit. This kit brings maximum performance at such a low cost, especially when paired up with the Ryzen 5 2600 that we've mentioned. Now onto SSD, and we're not even going to talk about why we're choosing an SSD over a HDD, because that's obvious. SSDs are far superior. Faster read and write speeds are going to work wonders for you when you're working and gaming. So with that in mind, the SSD that we are going to suggest is the Samsung 860 EVO 500 gigabyte. High quality SSDs don't come cheap, but we're recommending this model because it's both reliable and will serve you well in the years to come. The 550 megabyte second read and write speed will make your overall experience feel rather snappy. And this SSD is highly regarded and honestly great for the price. Now let's move on to the PSU. There are a wide variety of power supply options available depending on your build. You can save money on a power supply by buying a model that provides just enough wattage to your specific build and no more. This does however mean that down the line if you do want to upgrade your PC you will have to purchase a higher wattage power supply. Certified power supplies range from 80 plus white all the way to titanium with white being the least efficient and titanium being the most. We recommend the EVGA 80 plus white 500 watt as opting for a non-modular PSU will save you money. If you want a bit more efficiency, then you can go for the 80 plus bronze, which is only $10 more. EVGA is renowned for manufacturing high quality components. So honestly, you can really rely on this one. And onto our final component, the case. This is another component where we can save quite a lot of money. The key factors to consider, however, are airflow, quality, layout, and that ever so important aesthetic. With all that in mind, we have opted for the NZXT H510, an incredible mid-tower chassis, which is a personal favorite here at WePC, with a lot of our own builds featuring this case. The case features two pre-installed fans for out-of-the-box airflow, which will sufficiently cool your system with ease. And there you have it, our budget student build. Now, could you have built a cheaper rig? Well, yes, of course. But this build offers a very well-rounded experience that will allow you to game and work without any issues, as well as allowing you room for future upgrades. If you are also looking for a gaming keyboard and mouse, then check out the link in the description down below to our playlist full of our reviews. If you enjoyed the video at all, we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification button while you're down there, and we'll see you in the next